Welcome back to this playlist, where we explore Comfy UI and how to use AI as a tool to create and edit images, video, sound, songs, and more. Today we're looking at Quen, a powerful model for both image generation and image editing. Let's start with the first workflow and generate our first image. The workflow is very simple, and you can load it directly from Comfy UI's templates menu. We load the model set our positive and negative prompts, and route everything into the case sampler, just like we did in previous videos. In my case, I'm trying to generate a photo of a wall with a mural that says the name of this channel. Quinn not only understands prompts well, it also handles text rendering impressively. As you can see, it followed the request and wrote the name correctly in the requested style. As always, your results will depend on your settings, steps, CFG scale, etc., and on the model you use. For example, the full model versus a quantized one, or whether you have a LoRa loaded, that will affect how detailed or simple the output looks. Now, let's move to the second example, using Quen Image Edit 2509 for image editing. We'll take the image we just created and apply some changes. Quen is extremely capable. You can adjust the look, tweak small details, remove or add objects, people, or animals, change outfits, switch hairstyles, replace backgrounds, and much more. We'll use the simple, base workflow available in Comfy UI. The overall logic stays similar. The main difference you'll notice is that the Quint Image Edit node accepts positive and negative prompts, a V input, and up to three images. That means you can blend or combine elements. For example, Take a photo of a person and an animal and ask when to put them together. Or take your photo and a picture of an outfit you want to try on and have Quinn generate an image of you wearing it. So the shorts I've shared on my channel were made exactly this way. Let's try an example. We'll clean up our scene like responsible graffiti artists. In the prompt, we'll ask Quinn to wash the wall in the street while keeping the mural text on the wall. You can see it clean the dirt and remove the objects on the ground. Now, let's try removing the lettering as well. And that's it. Quick demo of both generation and editing with Quen inside Comfy UI. Let's look at another example. This time we'll merge subjects from two separate images. I grabbed a Roman bust of Emperor Trajan and I want to place it in front of the wall. In the prompt, we'll ask Quen to place the bust from image two in front of the mural wall from image one. Quinn generated the result as requested, creating the bust and positioning it on the ground in front of the wall. I ran several tests and had to try different combinations before everything clicked. Here you really need to experiment. Seed, steps, CFG, and denoise all matter. Tweaking even one of these slightly can lead to completely different results, including failures or odd artifacts. Now, let's achieve the same goal in a different way. In this workflow, very similar to previous one, instead of passing both source images directly to Quen's prompt, we first take our two inputs and use the stitch node to build a single composite image. Then we pass only the stitched image to Quen with the same instruction. Quen recognizes that the canvas contains two panels and executes the prompt accordingly. As before, your configuration has a big impact on the outcome. For the final example in this video, let's cover Quen image in painting with control net. As we saw in the first video with stable diffusion, in painting lets you mask the areas you want to change or regenerate. In my simple test, I started with a girl generated by Quen. I masked the top of her head, one arm, and a section of the background, then asked Quen to add a crown on her head, a sword in her hand, and a treasure in the left area of the image.
Quinn correctly modified only the mast regions. The video ends here. In the next video, we will delve deeper into control net regarding postures so that we can generate images by guiding the pose of the characters. Thank you for watching. See you soon.